Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I'm here with ScottMax04. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> and if you guys remember last time, uh, we've been in uh, Guajar Lagoon, and we, uh, we found Hermie, the Christmas tree crab, and uh, we beat... We beat him and got the first bean star piece. So now we're gonna get out of here. Let's see, assuming I know where to go. <coughs> oh, that's the relaxation. And I've room. still got the call. Oof. Okay, uh seems like we go right. Actually, uh I think we we actually go up. Yeah, and we can just go through the pipe. <laughs> Might as well save. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll want to talk to um, Queen Bean to see where we need to head next. Who would have thought that Cacolata would possess Bowser? I beg of you! You must find the Bean Star so we can save dear Princess Peach! Okay. Uh... Okay, that 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 went well for information gathering. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Doesn't your map thing tell you? Like um you know hints? Yeah, it does. Oh. Well I Yes, we go to... Let's do Stardust Fields next. For a moment there, I thought you were gonna say Stardust Speedway, and I'm like, what? But, uh, first... I want to see if we can upgrade our hammers. Stop! Have my time! <laughs> thought you were legit telling me to stop for a second. No, if I wanted oh, you to no. stop, I would have went STOP! <laughs> I yelled so loudly, Luigi slipped. Ah. For a moment there, I thought you were gonna do your show off thing, but you just hit them with a stick. Here's the crazy bombs. Oops. 
Hours stomping Goombas, Koopas. Boys at 3 a.m. looking for beans. <laughs> you know, we haven't seen Popo in a while. I think I'm having withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> Wait a minute, I recognize this. This is that weird beach area. You know, the one where the ship was going out from. Oh, yeah. Meaning, if we go up that direction, we'll encounter. Um, I I'm tempted to call it Gobi Desert, but that's from Banjo Kazooie, so what's it called again? What, Tiki Valley? Yeah, that's what it's called. I thought it was a desert. Well, I guess it is. You certainly look like you don't know where you're going. Come on, get that Koopa! Oh my gosh! here. I think. No, never mind. <laughs> oh no! Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh.
curse you. Are they up here? No, I doubt it. Block fortune. Today's lucky block is the simu block. You hit the two simu blocks up ahead simultaneously, your luck will improve. The secret to hitting them simultaneously is to get on the top and bottom ledges. just spontaneously appears. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here! Let me commemorate the moment with this! Take it, please! Bull trousers! Let's see what they do! They make you fluffy. Bull trousers. Decrease my defense! Yo. Decrease HP for Luigi. So no, I'm not gonna have them. Curse you, I'll Mole! See. You can't let her spindle go below a certain level. But yeah, you'll bump into that Mole guy when you, uh, like, get these guys, so... Bruh. So why the Goomba so big? Yoshi Theater! Yep. Hey, what's for you two? You can't just waltz up and start talking to my master! 
You weasels! Look at you! There's no doubt in my mind that you've came looking for money. Well, I'll have you know that my master is very busy. He doesn't have time to waste on the likes of you. Rude. Be off! Off, I say! Huh? The bean star busted into four pieces? Oh, m master, master, you mustn't listen. You can't listen. All of this talk is just meant to s swindle you out of your money, and again, it's all lies, lies. <laughs> Silence, you twit. And with that, please excuse me. What's that? There's something on my face? <laughs> eh? You say I look like Bubbles, the legendary soda maker? Mm -hmm. Ah, he does. <laughs> That's because I'm Bubbles. Younger brother! My name is Bottle! Younger brother of the legendary soda maker. And as you can see, I'm rich enough to, to own my own theater. I also happen to be the president of the Yoshi Fan Club. This theater was designed by a Yoshi-loving chap specifically for the enjoyment of the Yoshis. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? I see. You just have to have the decoration on this sign. Yes, of course. Fine, fine. I suppose I could decorate the sign with something else and give that sparkly thing to you. Oh, yeah. No, 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 you mustn't, master, you mustn't! <laughs> However, only on one condition. That sign is my theater's face. You must find something else that can be used to decorate my grand sign. Understood? Why, do you mean neon eggs? Yes, I shall trade you this for the seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs. I impossible! Master! Washed up middle aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs! <laughs> Will the two of you agree to this? When Yoshis eat a particular kind of food, they lay neon eggs! Well, so they say. Inside that movie theater are seven hungry Yoshis. So, find that particular food and give it to the Yoshis inside. Once you get a neon egg, it means the Yoshi's stomach is filled. It also means... Everyone's happy! Right? Incredible master, thinking not only for yourself, but of all the Yoshis too! You two, don't just stand there, staring, thank my master! And once you've done thanking him, hurry up and get those neon eggs! Now that you mention it, there is someone in this theater who will... Versed on neon eggs. 
people who's well versed. So. You should talk to that individual about what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs and where to find it. Okay. I'll just be in my excellent shell. Hmm. All right. Yoshi Theater Lobby. Got some hungry Yoshis. Um. Oh, I like this part. Oh my gosh! Yoshis! They're. They're real young Yoshis here! I've never seen one before! This is so cool! I. I have to bring my girlfriend here! She'll flip out! Shut up! <laughs> Right. Okay, um... Are you the one to talk to? They say Bordel has over 30,000 wooden dolls at his house. That's a lot. What's so fun about having so many wooden dolls? I swear, I've never understood the hobbies of the rich. Yeah, but what are the dolls of? Are they just Yoshis? And I don't think it's a Yoshi that we talked to. Oh, it's this guy. Ugh, hang on. Ugh. Indeed! I am the architect who designed this very theater. I am called Fava. And also, indeed, I am the older brother of the Castle Town's greatest intellectual. What? 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 The neon eggs, you say? How do you know that I'm a neon egg fiend? That's right. Some know me as an architect, and some know my me as an inter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My tongue's not working. As an intellectual's older brother. But in reality, I'm just an old man who loves neon eggs. Perhaps. What? You want to know what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs? Well, that's a bean fruit. Perhaps. Bean fruits are native to Bean Bean Kingdom. They grow underground. Perhaps. Stop saying perhaps, I'm not dealing with hypotheticals. First, dig the bean fruit out of the ground. Then feed the bean fruit you dug up to a Yoshi. Then you will get a neon egg. Perhaps. But you know, there's nothing wrong with an old man being a neon egg fiend. I've never ever found a single neon egg in all in my life. <laughs> Very well. However, the knowledge I have gained after much collecting and searching is not exact. But in my head, I have a map that shows the kind of that shows kind of the general area where bean fruits may be. Perhaps. Oh, oh yeah. What? 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 You're gonna find them and feed them to the Yoshis? Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you. Indeed, I will now tell you. Be better. I'll show you a map that points out the general location of some bean fruits. I'll put marks on your map. Perhaps. Okay. Yikes. 
Go to the areas I've marked on your map and look for suspicious spots surrounded by grass or rocks. If you find such spots, there's no mistaking that a bean fruit lies in the dirt in that spot. By the way, to dig up a bean fruit, just dig underground once and pop back up. Perhaps, if you're lucky. Okay. If you say perhaps one more time, I swear I'm going to make sure you meet your maker. <laughs> right, I think I might know where one of the eggs might be, because I'm noticing suspicious spots. When you were at that bridge area that goes over where Teehee Valley was, um, oh, there's Daffy. <laughs> Um, when you went to the spot um, where I had that bridge area going to Tihi Valley, um, there was a patch of flowers there. I think that might have been one of the spots. Uh, so basically, come back the way you came. How to make Luigi traumatized. <laughs> He's like, Mario! No! Luigi, I'm right here! Oh, okay. <laughs> they really hit Luigi. <laughs> PTSD again. Okay, those are weird looking things. Anubu. Oh. 
There's a bean fruit just lying there. Yeah, this was the area I was talking about. Okay. Oh, great. Long is it going to take? There we go, got him. And I guess we killed Prince Peasley as well. Oh, 
Luigi, you saved me, didn't you? Why, thank you so much! You're a huge help! Oh yeah. But, my, 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 Luigi, look how you've grown! <laughs> I see. I guess I wasn't aware of the whole shrinking business. Say, Luigi, I'm none too fond of this body size. Do you think you can change me back? <laughs> to think that you know such cool moves, you're a real zero. I mean, ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but be careful! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the difference in my shine now that I'm back to normal! Zing! Now that's a shine! Thank you so much, Luigi! I feel like I must thank you! Please, I insist you accept this! I found this inside that large piranha plant back there. Please, take it! Oh yeah! Bean fruit! Well, I've returned to my old self once again, so there's no point in staying here longer. <laughs> I'll almost definitely be getting the next bean star piece! Oh! And be sure to give my regards to Mr. Red Mustache. Oh, yeah. May we meet again after... My tongue didn't work then. After gathering the Beanstar piece. Bye bye. We get it, he's hot. <laughs> Right, where to now? Uh, let's, uh... Keep him this Bottom way. right? Let's go! Come on, jump! Okay, that's a show and all. <laughs> Stop! Christina, don't. Christina. <laughs> <sighs> Let's 
We gather here today to honour the death of all the Daffy Ducks that Christina has murdered. This one will also be added to the list. May he be remembered. Okay. And to honour them, we must we must say their dying words to Christina Burgraff. You're despicable. Christina breathes out and she's like,
All right. We will take care of Har Hall next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.